Hello class 7. Welcome back to your English class. Today, let us continue with the second session of the prose lesson, A Prayer to the Teacher of Unit 3. To understand the lesson better, let us first read the glossary. The first word, indiscriminate, means without careful judgment. The next word, consumerism, which means the protection or promotion of the interest of consumers. Consumers are the people who consume or who take or buy things. The next word, destruction, which means the action of damaging or destroying something. The next word, engulf, means eat or swallow the whole. The next word, scavenger bird, which means anything that feeds on dead animals. For example, a crow. Perch means to rest on or to stay on. The next word, enslaved, means make someone a slave. The next word, commercial, which means money-minded. Next word, contemplate, means think deeply about something. Bigotry, which means intolerance towards others with a different opinion. The last word, illuminated which means light up. Before starting the second session of this lesson, let me give a short recap of the introduction. This lesson is a convocation address given by Subroto Bhagatji, the founder and CEO of Mindtree for his graduating teachers, their faculty and administrators. The speaker first stresses on the inculcation valuing all people irrespective of the boundaries like financial and educational status, caste, creed, physical strength and designation or nativity. Now let us read the lesson. Teach me not just about the way the waves rise but what causes them to fall. Teach me to appreciate that the trees I fell, the small creatures I kill with indiscriminate use of fertilizers and pesticides on the ground. The urban decay I cause with my consumerism all add to awesome imbalances in the natural state of things that cause death and destruction and can one day engulf me and mine. Each time I see a scavengering bird on my city's skyline, teacher, tell me why the singing birds are going away and tell me how I can see them perched on my window sill again. Let us read the next paragraph. I pray to you to teach me not just the ability to answer, but also the power to question. Everyone is telling me to do as I am told, but before I know it, I am enslaved. It is because we do not ask questions. Only if we ask questions can we get answers. If we get the answers, we can explore how to establish a better order of things. If we ask questions, we will also learn to be accountable. We will be more willing to accept that when we ask the questions, we can be questioned too. In that exchange, truth will emerge. I pray to you to teach me the power of silence. Teach me also to raise my voice to protect the truth. In a world where my moment is going to be full of noise, teach me to be quiet. Teach me to appreciate the sound of silence. For in silence, I can contemplate the power within. Teach me to make my point without having to raise my voice. And teach me to raise my voice, teacher, when my silence can hurt another life. In the first para, the writer says, that everyone tells me to just obey what others do. But we should learn to ask questions and not be enslaved. When we ask questions, we can explore things in a better way and we can do things in a better way. If we ask questions, we will also learn to be accountable. When somebody asks questions to us, we can explain them better. Only when we ask questions, we can get the answers for it. And when we exchange the ideas in that way, the truth will emerge. Here, the second paragraph, he says that teach me the power of silence. Teach me also to raise my voice to protect the truth. 
says in this world where everything is full of noise teach me to be quiet he also says teach me to appreciate the silence teach me to come contemplate the silence the power of silence within me he also says to teach me to make the point without having a raise of voice wherever i have to ask questions teach me to make it in a such a way that i do not raise my voice but get the answer from them and do not hurt the others with raising my voice he says so also teach me to have silence and get my point or get my voice let us read the next paragraph as i learn the power of humility teach me about how all things that sustain life on earth come free teacher i will live in an increasingly commercial world i will be judged on how much value i can create by buying and selling things my personal success will be determined by my ability to consume i will not be able to always question the ways of the world but to tell me how all things that truly support life come without payment the cow does not get paid for the milk she gives us the earth does not ask for money for the crops we get the sea does not come to get your royalties on the catch of the day the sun the air the river and the clouds do not get paid for their services finally i pray to you to teach me to develop a world view of things teach me to appreciate that poverty disease and hunger have no nationality for hundreds of years i have lived in a world with a narrow domestic walls in that world patriotism was founded on religious bigotry racial intolerance and man's remarkably short view of time it was bounded by barbed wires and smoking guns in the future that i want to create i want you to teach me the power of loving my fellow human beings teach me to appreciate diversity and dialogue teach me tolerance and teach me to remove the word foreign and foreigner from my vocabulary this is my world teacher in this world i do not want to be a foreigner to anyone and i do not want to treat anyone like a foreigner with these thoughts allow me to conclude my convocation address may this day remain with you forever and may your path be illuminated with the power of thousand suns thank you and good luck finally in this paragraph the writer says he pleads the teachers to develop a world view of things by having a one world feeling by removing poverty decrease and hunger in the world and patriotism is not a tolerance he says towards religion and race enmity was to be replaced with the love for others he says we should love others the other fellow human beings he also says there should be unity in diversity no one is a foreigner in this world he says all the people in the world are our siblings with this we end this lesson